France 24 is now joined by the Foreign Minister of Estonia, Eva Maria Limetz, joins us now from Tallinn. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak to us here uh, on France 24. I want to start by talking about the, the Russian offer to hold peace talks in Belarus this Sunday, an offer that's been rejected so far by Ukraine. What are your and your government's hopes for peace or a ceasefire? Good morning and thank you for having me. Absolutely, it is very important to uh, uh, try to help to end this uh, war against uh, uh, sovereign Ukraine and against its people who are suffering in this uh, um, uh, war at the moment. And we do must do of utmost to 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 help to end this war. And at the same time, of course, uh, we need to support Ukraine because it's up to Ukraine to decide uh, how to end this war. And uh, we need to support Ukraine in this uh, difficult moment and, of course, pressure Russia to end this war. And I've seen also other countries suggesting uh, of, of peace talks like uh, Hungary. And definitely this kind of peace talks can be in a sovereign and neutral country if they take place one moment. We're hearing now from you, your British counterpart who's saying that the conflict in, in Ukraine could last uh, for several uh, years. Is there, though, a plan in place if and when Ukraine falls to the Russians? I truly hope that this democratic country will never fall for Russians. It continues to be a sovereign country and we can continue to help to restore its uh, territorial integrity peacefully. And uh, the, um, uh, we, the Western community, like-minded countries, the whole international community, we continue to pressure Russia uh, to, to uh, end this war. And I'm really grateful for the decisions that we are going to make uh, later tonight by the European Union and also for the decisions that have been made already by leaders of the EU. As you mentioned there, your EU counterparts are meeting later this Sunday to discuss this whole crisis. Are you uh, able to tell us uh, what might be on the agenda and what further measures or sanctions even might be, uh, might be brought in? Yes, we are going to go um, uh, further with the sanctions. Uh, it's called um, a third package. And uh, yesterday, President von der Leyen announced the details already, what's going to be in this uh, package. And uh, this um, uh, main idea, of course, is related to um, uh, financial uh, measures, uh, uh, swift measures, so that we can really cut out Russia uh, main banks from the international monetary system. Uh, Estonia has been one of several countries to close its airspace uh, to uh, Russian flights, with Finland uh, the latest uh, country to follow suit. Uh, as a national government in Estonia, are you planning to take other steps like this? From our perspective, uh, we, of course, uh, prefer to have the EU joint uh, uh, steps with this regard, because Estonia is a small country and our uh, our measures are not that influential than they were together with uh, uh, other EU member states. So I thought that uh, also uh, today uh, in the afternoon when I meet with my European counterparts, we can agree on other uh, joint measures with, uh, via with Russia. I'd like to, uh, to briefly discuss, of course, the other pressing issue, and that's the humanitarian situation on the ground and the mass uh, exodus uh, of people fleeing the fighting in, in uh, Ukraine. What are you doing to help? What help is on offer from Estonia? Uh, from Estonia, we already last Friday uh, made an announcement uh, to provide additional uh, uh, humanitarian aid. We donated additional money to the Red Cross and other humanitarian organizations. At the moment, we also have uh, uh, sent uh, buses to the border to uh, help uh, with uh, Ukrainians come to Estonia, especially we have contacts with those Ukrainians who have relatives in Estonia. And of course, uh, we uh, also uh, uh, provide additional um, uh, financial support to the um, uh, humanitarian organizations uh, so that they could really act quickly. Uh, we also prepare, um, uh, of course, um, uh, aid uh, towards uh, Ukraine, also to uh, defense forces of Ukraine. Uh, uh, we provide uh, food and other um, uh, um, gasoline and other uh, um, important uh, um, uh, stuff that is very much needed at the moment in Ukraine. 
Okay, Eva Maria Limetz, the Foreign Minister of Estonia, thank you so much for joining us here on France 24. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me.